So, you know, one of the things I think about as I think about this standard is the opportunity before us is one that, you know, for one of the first times that I can remember in our profession of health and safety, we have a market opportunity. This is not just us waiting for a disaster to happen and for that to elevate the visibility of what it is that we do in the health and safety area, but this is really is raising the consciousness. So I don't want to discount the importance of the harmonization effort that's taking place behind these efforts because as all the other management systems are trying to establish and get together to work on how they have their requirements language centered around uh, the Annex SL, which you all know is what we have to work on, is really important because now it becomes ingrained in the organization. And it's the organization that executes health and safety, not, not those of you out here as professionals pushing it. It's really more important that it becomes more of an organic kind of thing. So it's pretty exciting. I think this time uh, of you know, where we are in, in the history of our economy, being more globally interconnected, uh, never more has it been even more important to establish a foundation that we all follow, not just here in the U.S., but worldwide. And we have that diversity, as Kathy had mentioned. It's a tough diversity. You know, you get uh, 75 people in a room and trying to get them all to consensus is a tough thing. Well, just think when you're talking about 45 different countries, another 15 or so different liaisons, trying to get them to the same place is also very, very challenging. So as we go through and disposition a lot of the comments, I think it's really important for us to think about not just only ourselves, but how we want to help the rest of the world in terms of getting to where it is that we believe is really important place for, for the practice of health and safety. Okay, with that. So it goes without saying that, um, well, actually, let me do a couple of introductions, too, because we have a couple of new members, and I just want to make sure that uh, we have a chance to acknowledge them. Uh, and some actually participated in uh, D.C., but I don't know that we formally recognize them as new members. And uh, Jim uh, Weber and Laura Felick from uh, the Burlington Na uh, Northern Railway. So welcome. Did you guys, I think, were there in D.C., were you not? Oh, you weren't? Okay, great. So you were the first ones right afterwards. We also have from uh, Bureau Veritas, Margarito Basilla, who has just joined us as well. And uh, from GS4 Technology, we have um, uh, John Klimowitz and uh, Stephen Kimball. And then finally, uh, no stranger to us, is uh, Rike um, from UCB from UC. He's actually come over and he's joined Google now. So with his help, we actually have two members, but you only have one vote. Sorry. <laughs> So uh, welcome to that. I hope you get a chance to welcome them during these two days uh, and also to get to know a lot of other people. I think there are others here that are part of the other organizations that are already members that maybe we've seen for the first time that we didn't see in, uh, in New York. So um, one thing I wanted to recognize is, again, I know Tim and Kathy has done a little bit of, of this, is AIG and what they have helped us do. because. We don't discount the environment under which we work in in order for us to focus on the job at hand, and that is creating the best international standard for uh, occupational health and safety management systems that we possibly can. Um, so because they've given us these great uh, facilities, they're feeding us, we can focus on this work. And much like the work that we have in hand is creating a standard where the workers don't have to worry about their health and safety that they're actually being taken care of. So with that kind of a note, let me extend also my thanks to AIG for, um, for Jan and, and David um, uh, for giving us and arranging for these great facilities here. So um, with that, I'd like to introduce uh, David Bassey to give us a few opening remarks. Uh, David is, um, he's currently the head of Innovation Risk Consulting and in this capacity, He's responsible for growth and market scoping, new product strategies. And in addition to that, and probably more important to us, he also is the head of casualty risk consulting, which is where Jan comes out of, where he has a network of experts that focus on you know, bringing new insights, analysis, and ultimately creating that environment for a greater understanding of health and safety risks and reduction in risk. So please help me in welcoming David to the podium.